All right, today we're going to show you some of the modifications we made to this Power Wheels Fire Rescue Jeep. Pretty straightforward. We put in a new ignition switch, we put in headlights and taillights, and some underglow lighting. So, the first thing we did was for the ignition switch, we took out the stock ignition switch, which looks like this plastic switch. The stock hole was about three quarter inches in diameter, and for about $12, we bought this metal ignition switch from Amazon.com. And you can see we also put in a dash indicator light for that. So when the key is turned, ignition on. In addition to that, we put in a remote kill switch. So you can see with the ignition on, we have this little handy remote. Uh, this thing was about, I don't know, can't remember, 10 or 15 bucks online. So when you hit the uh, remote, you see the kill uh, indicator light come on. That was uh, another modification, adding a indicator light for the kill switch. When the kill switch is applied, it uh, stops the power to the motor, applies the stock brake. We also have included some additional mods here with some uh, toggle switches for headlights and taillights, and again another indicator light for those, and underglow lighting, which we'll show you in just a moment. Uh, indicator lights, again you can buy these pretty cheaply. You got a set of four of these for less than five bucks, shipping included from uh, eBay. And again, standard 12 volt, easy to install. Not much room in the dash, but plenty of room for these five little units. Let me just show you the headlights and taillights. I took the uh, liberty of pre loosening some of these. Here's the stock headlight assembly lens, and you can see it's just got a couple of plastic tabs that hold it in place, easy to remove. And this was one of the uh, headlight assemblies that came from, uh, got these on modifiedpowerwheels.com. A couple of people uh, sell these on that forum and for 20 bucks you can get all the uh, headlight, taillight, and underglow lighting that you need for the vehicle. So I'll just show you what we've got in under the hood here. You can affix these LED, micro LEDs with just about anything, hot glue, rubber cement, uh, electrical tape, which is what I've used here. Uh, pretty lightweight. They're very low energy draw and uh, very low heat, so you don't have to worry about melting the plastic. Inside the uh, hood, you can see this is the remote receiver for the remote kill switch. And we've got a couple of standard automotive relays here, which we've put in for the uh, lighting and the ignition switch which minimizes the amount of current flow into the uh, dashboard. So let me just snap this uh, assembly back in, show you the uh, tail lights. Safety is a concern, of course, with uh, children present, so we always use the, the sealed lead acid type battery and uh, try to minimize uh, shock potential. Here we have the taillight assembly, and you can see the uh, three micro LEDs in a strip, uh, one on the bottom, one on the top, squeezed into this taillight assembly. Fits in there very nicely. The stock lens is translucent enough that uh, it lights up very nicely. Let's go ahead and turn the uh, headlights and taillights off. We'll turn off some of the overhead lighting so you can see. Let's go ahead and turn on the headlights and taillights. And there you go, you can see the uh, tail lights illuminated quite nicely. Uh, and the headlighting, let's go around to the front of the vehicle. And there you can see the headlights. We can turn on the uh, underglow right here. And there's the underglow lighting. Turn off the headlights and taillights. You see how bright those headlights are? They really do light up the front of the vehicle. And that's just the underglow lighting that you see there without the headlights and taillights. So with some of the lights turned back on, let me go ahead and turn those lights off. Lift up the vehicle and give you a view of the 
underglow lighting. So you can see here one of the strip LEDs for the underglow lighting. You can see also the wiring for the uh, tail lights. Just drilled some small holes in the body panel to bring those wires in. Drilled some small holes in the webbing there. And there's some more of the wire routing. And you can see the, uh, the strip lighting. These strip lights are actually red micro LEDs, not white in color. Put some up there in the wheel wells. But you can see how nicely they light up the vehicle. So that's what we have done for uh, our Power Wheels Jeep project. I uh, hope you have fun. Just uh, again, a mention to modifiedpowerwheels.com. Uh, plenty of information available, including wire di wiring diagrams such as these, which were very helpful in the project. So, enjoy. Have fun with your modified power wheels. That's it. Thank you.